Hello everyone, my name is Dr Choi. I'm the Head of Science in uh, Heathcote School and Science College. Welcome to the Taster Lesson for Science uh, 2020. Uh, so Science Department uh, comprises of 10 teachers. We've got also four science technicians that support teachers in preparing practicals. Uh, we have 11 labs across three different buildings and we have three extracurricular clubs that are running in the department. Uh, at East Stage 3, so that's year 7, 8 and 9, uh, you will be taught uh, in uh, your form group in year 7 and then in year 8 and year 9 you will be taught in sets. Uh, you will be taught every year the same amount of biology, chemistry and physics units and for every uh, unit of study you will have one short test that will uh, last 30 minutes and based on uh, the results of all the tests that you do during the year uh, you will have um, we will make a decision on which set to put you in the year after uh, so I'm going to show you some highlights of practical activities that we, you will be doing at Key Stage 3. So the picture in here on the right, that's burning bubbles. So I'll only show you some examples of practicals today. We wouldn't want to ruin the surprise for all the lessons. So this one is um, uh, the practical where we burn methane bubbles. You basically get to um, shoot fireballs from your hand. Uh, another practical um, that you're doing is 7, 8 and 9, so you will see burning iron filings, uh, how to make a lava lamp and making hot ice. Yeah, you have to get closer. More, more, more. more. On the fire. Yes. fire. Well Whoa. done. More, more, more. Nice storm. Whoa. More to try. Whoa. Well done. Right. Sorry, miss. One second. <laughs> My love, oh, <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> okay, now everyone can touch him. And this one will be Yeah, you have to get uh, sorry for the last flip. Um, now, in key stage four, so that's year 10 and year 11. Uh, you will be also learning science. So science is not an option at Key Stage 4, but some of you may choose to do triple science, which has more content for all three science subjects. And we have two classes of triple science every year. Everyone else who doesn't choose to do triple science will be taught combined science. And we have five classes of combined science. They are taught in sets. So we have top set, the middle set, bottom set, five of them. Uh, so in, at Key Stage 4, you also taught equal amount of biology, chemistry and physics units for each class. And uh, there is one short test per unit of study and each test is 30 minutes long. So I'm going to show you some practical activities that you'll be doing at Key Stage 4. So the example here on the right, you see the picture, it's making slime. So this practical is actually relevant also for Key Stage 3. So if you're lucky, you may um, you may uh, get to do it more than once. So uh, you can see here some of the examples of practicals. So on the left, this practical is called cold finger. So in this practical, you get to see uh, deposition of iodine over here. Uh, you also get to do silver plating. So silver plating is when we started off with a normal coin and we plated it with silver and uh, other redox reactions that can be used to make silver ornaments. So these are pretty unique um, practicals that some other schools may not be doing them at all. Uh, at Key Stage 5, so in year 12 and 13, we offer biology, chemistry and physics. Students who do these subjects have to choose those particular subjects and they have to um, meet 
requirements in terms of their grades from GCSEs. At Key Stage 5, you get to do one test per unit of study. The test can be different length depending on the unit, from 30 to 50 minutes. And there are 12 required practicals for each of the sciences and lots of other non-required practicals that are being done. And there are additional activities such as webinars, field trips, uh, Olympiads competitions, uh, oral or poster presentations and mentoring of lower years. There are other opportunities as well who may, which may not be mentioned in here and uh, we inform students as they uh, come up such as uh, summer schools in universities and so on. Uh, so what practical activities you might be doing at Key Stage 5 in Year 12 and 13? So you can see on the picture here, it's eye dissection practical. Again, this is a practical that's relevant for many years, so you may get lucky and do it more than once. So what you can see here, it's a lens from an eye, uh, and uh, the student that we chose to dissect didn't do their homework twice in a row. So, you know, they had to do that. Uh, and this is a displacement reaction with silver nitrate ammonium chloride. Uh, can you remember the other key stage when this practical was done? Mm -hmm. Yeah, at key stage four, so in year 10, year 11, this practical is also relevant to the reactions that are being, uh, chemical reactions that are being taught in chemistry at key stage four. Okay. So on this one, you can see a video of a motor effect. So uh, this was a, an activity that was delivered by a visitor from Imperial College. We have links with universities and we often have um, visitors, researchers who come in with different activities for students. Hey. So you could have uh, seen in here, there's a battery and the wire that's placed on the battery in a particular manner uh, revolves. <laughs> right, in the second video in here, you'll see a student placing battery on one side and the battery travels throughout the uh, pipe to the other side. Uh, right, we do uh, practical activities every session of the Science Club. Science Club is aimed at Year 7 and 8 students and it's once every two weeks after school from October to February. Uh, so this is mostly focusing on fun activities. Some of them you may see in lessons as well, some others only happen in the Science Club. Uh, we also have STEM Club. So in the STEM Club, students work on science, technology, engineering and maths projects and they enter several competitions using dedicated iPads and other equipment. There are also special study trips aimed at this group. In the past few years, students in this group have won several competitions with prizes ranging from tablets for each individual student to £3,000 worth of special equipment for the Science Club and the STEM Club. Uh, so this club is aimed at uh, students that are in year 7, 8, 9 and 10 and it happens once every week after school from November to May. Uh, additionally, we also have a unique opportunity which is Japanese uh, Language Club. Uh, so I run Japanese Language Club, I speak Japanese and I run it once a week for most students. It's open to all year groups of so six formers come, year sevens come and also twice a week if a student is interested in a uh, studying for Japanese GCSE. We do all sorts of fun activities in the club. We also have anime club once a week. There's more information in a separate video about the Japanese club. So um, some highlights of the STEM club and science club so that you have an idea what kind of activities students are doing. So this one is a, a screaming, screaming jelly babies video. Let's listen. <laughs> Uh, 
And uh, the second experiment, it's Mentos and Coke experiment. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, and another one, uh, it's a giant bubble, so you can see um, a bubble that can fit two people. <laughs> Uh, we additionally, there are different projects. So this project is a STEM club project that's been built using a 3D printer. It won £3,000 for the school and an undisclosed amount of money for the students that developed it as well. So you can see uh, it's um, a model of an eco park and it's labelled so you can have a look what different features uh, are included. Okay, and uh, this student here, uh, these two students here, they're the winners of the STEM competition, uh, and they picture here with the clever Miss uh, Rachel Riley. Uh, our pupils also attend um, STEM club trips. So an example in here, uh, they attended the Great Exhibition Road Festival, uh, which hosts uh, a series of workshops and lectures by scientists all over the country of the cutting edge work. So you get to see what scientists are um, inventing at the moment. Uh, on the left, you can see a picture of some of our Key Stage 4, Key Stage 5 girls that visited Imperial College London for a STEM outreach program that was designed to promote the study of STEM subjects by girls. And on the right, our sixth form pupils attended a mock assessment centre where they took part in workshops aimed to help them gain knowledge and skills for interviews in all types of workplaces. Uh, Key stage three pupils and key stage five pupils also recently traveled abroad. So the key stage three pupils on the left, they um, visited, uh, they went to Belgium to visit Euro Space Center where they lived like astronauts for a few days. Uh, and the ones on the left are key stage five pupils that traveled to Geneva in Switzerland to visit CERN, which is one of the biggest physics research institutes. Alongside CERN, pupils were able to also visit the UN and a science museum. And pictures on the next few slides will also show that. So you can see in here, uh, Eurospace Center in Belgium. On the left is equipment designed to simulate walking on the moon. And you can feel what it feels like uh, to leap uh, rather than walk. You have to leap rather than walk due to difference in gravity, otherwise you're not able to um, move yourself properly. And on the right, uh, there's pupils that are using the microgravity war equipment to simulate astronauts walking, working on the uh, International Space Station. And uh, this is also Eurospace Center in Belgium and pupils built rockets and competed to see which one traveled the furthest. Uh, on the left here they're working on the rocket and then they had to test it. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, on the left here, it's part of the CERN exhibition. And on the right is the Science uh, Museum in Geneva. Um, thank you so much for listening to this video. And I do hope to see you in September in Heathcote. And um, welcome to Heathcote. <laughs>